There's been tense bickering at the start of the annual budget estimates with new opposition leader Tim Nichols leading the attack. The Speaker, Premier and Treasurer were the first to be grilled. State political reporter Tegan George joins us now. Tegan, Treasurer Curtis Pitt is just over halfway through justifying his second budget. Well, Georgie Curtis Pitt has been on for three hours, so another two to go. It's a big day for the Treasurer, and as expected, the focus really has been on the government's plan to raid public servants' superannuation to pay down debt and fund infrastructure. Now, we've certainly learned a lot about the defined benefit scheme this afternoon, but definitely nothing major that we haven't already heard before. The most interesting and revealing standoff came this morning when Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk went up against new opposition leader Tim Nichols. Smiles galore through gritted teeth. I'm quite sure my cabinet's very different to the cabinets that you attended. Budget estimates more like an awkward dinner party as the leaders traded snarky barbs across the table. Well, can you're me, talking about getting things done. To the next, next we can question. talk about one William Street whenever you want to. The LNP with a new top attack dog, but some things never change. I mean, are we running a protection racket here? You're a so job rude. From the work you're of so Jobs rude. Queensland. You will not let me finish my sentence. No, no, I'm just, I'm asking. It's still arrogant. Apart from the Premier forced to defend her government's public service splurge in its first year. I'll give you the answer. It's 8,917. Of which the majority of frontline so services. People are scared when they see you because they, you remind them of the past. Ex-Minister Joanne Miller brought fireworks. She's referring former Health Minister Lawrence Springborg to the police over allegations he lied to an estimates committee about the Barrett Centre closure. The then Minister for Health, Lawrence Springborg, lied. Oh, I'm sorry, um, fibbed. Interestingly, her new business card doesn't mention the Labor Party. Another revelation today, the ageing parliamentary precinct is costing us big dollars. 3.9 million has been spent upgrading one floor in the annex, taking out a pool and squash court. $300,000 of that was to remove asbestos no one knew about, and contractors are struggling to meet the August 31 deadline thanks to the Tower of Power. It's um, put a shadow over us a lot of the time we're not getting much sunlight. We now also know the precinct is housing thousands of more workers, with two native beehives calling Parliament home. Well, there's an exciting new partnership that we're embarking on. The Deputy Premier is in the hot seat tomorrow. And that's Deputy Premier Jackie Trad. She's facing a four-hour grilling. We'll also see some other ministers up tomorrow. These sessions are quite big days. They run till 8, 9, 9.30 tonight. So we do have some big days ahead. Once today is done, that's one day down, six to go. Georgie? Oh, big wait ahead. Thank you, Tegan George, <laughs> live there at State Parliament.